The Mr. Excel Podcast is brought to you by Easy Excel. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jell, and today's question sent in by Kathy. Now, Kathy had been in one of my webinars, and I always say, hey, if you ever have any weird, weird Excel things, uh, shoot me a note, because I love weird Excel things. Kathy recently upgraded from Excel 2003 to Excel 2007. Back in Excel 2003, everything was working perfectly, of course. Excel 2007, none of these links are updating. She found that she actually had to come in and press F2 and enter for every single cell in order to get these to update, driving her insane. Why does Excel 2007 not support links, she said. Well, it's not a problem with Excel 2007 and links. It is a problem with the security center. All of a sudden in Excel 2007, external links, which we've been using, what, for decades, are seen as a security risk. And there's a chance for those to get turned off. Not in edit links like we had before. It's even more insidious than that. So, boy, they really have this hidden. This really should be a Where's It Wednesday. Uh, we have to go to the File button, then down to Excel Options, then to the Trust Center, then on the right-hand side, Trust Center Settings, then over here, External Content. Check this out. Security Settings. Security? It's a link. What's going to happen? For workbook links, it's set to disable. Now, that should not be the default, but in some companies, the IT department is using group policy to make that be the default. So, uh, at least prompt the user for automatic update, or if you know where the data is coming from, uh, this is not recommended, so I'm going to not recommend it, but do what you need to do um, and prompt about data connections there. Click OK, click OK. All right, so now let's try this again. We're going to uh, save this. Close it, and we'll come in. I wonder if we have to restart Excel for those settings to take it. Ah, there it is, right there. So, in Excel 2003, you weren't able to do anything. A big box came up. You had to choose. Do we update links or not update links? You weren't allowed to, to actually start using the spreadsheet. Now, they moved it here to the info bar. Not sure that I like that. I would rather have people be forced to answer this question. Um, but we can come here in here to options and say, yes, enable this content. Click OK, and then everything will have the proper numbers. Actually, personally, and I've argued this with Microsoft, I think it is far more dangerous to just have that sitting up there in the info bar and not have the links update. People are going to be running around with the wrong numbers. That was, in my opinion, a bad, bad thing for them to do. Well, not bad, bad, just slightly, mildly bad. Um, even worse that they allow someone in group policy, someone over in IT who never uses Excel, to turn off link settings altogether. Um, Kathy, I, I hope that you sent this to me within a couple of days, because if you've been sitting there pressing F2 and enter on all of those cells uh, for more than a few days, I am so sorry. All right, so hey, I want to thank Kathy for sending that question in. I want to thank you for stopping by. See you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.